Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. All cuties, babies, again. Alok, Labdi, Mahia, Raisa. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I'm also fine. Actually, as I told you, whenever I see these all pretty faces, I become so energetic and fine. All time is gone, actually. Ma'am? Yes? When, where is your home? Where is my home? My home is in my home. <laughs> okay, uh, so how many classes did we do? Uh, we have done two classes. Two classes. classes. Bengali and... Bengali. Okay, so... And computer. Uh, so, this is the first day of the month and this is the last class of you today. Yeah. Yes. What a combination. Okay, we are going with the history class again. Do all of you have your book? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. Very good. Ma All of you. Yeah. Sorry, your background. The book is also liking red. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. So, where are we? We were discussing about chapter 2, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first, let's see what is in our worksheet today. What we are going to read. Okay. okay. Can you see the worksheet here? All of you? Yes, ma'am. That's nice. So, yes. we are going to discuss about chapter 2, the discovery of fire, right? And first, yes. we will discuss page number 16 to 18. Okay. okay. Then we will go for some true and false. Okay. After that, after that, we will go with this short question of answer okay okay so we now we know that what we are going to read in this class let's start so for this I'm you need to open page number 16 okay page 16 so what is this fire and ceremony what is ceremony ceremony Shop. Program. <laughs> program. Program. Yeah. Program. 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 This ceremony. Yeah. Exactly. My Raisa is right, but she forgets the English of Utsho. English one, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's see what's written here about the fire and ceremony. Thousands of years have passed since the discovery of fire. It still continues to be a part of many human cultures and religious practices. Many religious communities use fire to cremate the dead. Actually, in Hindu culture, they cremate the dead, right? They burn the dead yeah, body in yeah. fire. Candles and lamps are used in various religious and social ceremonies. It's many times used in the Christian, in the Gija, you all, in the charges, you always say that there is a candle lit down. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the followers of Zoroastrianism, also called Parsis, are worshippers of fire. Fire symbolizes truth and purity in Zoroastrianism. Okay, so this is a symbol of truth and purity. Uh, it is a thought or human belief that any unpure thing will burn in fire, but the pure thing always in make it all more pure. Okay? So this is the power of fire to think of. Now, the role of fire in scientific history. So the cultural belief and science are not the same, right? Is the same? No. The culture and science are not the same. Whatever we think by our culture or by belief, but science doesn't believe it. And we believe in ghosts sometimes. But science? Yeah. Do science believe in ghosts? No. Not at no. all. No. So, Ma'am, I believe in this too. Because in some, some place there is really ghost or spirit. Okay. Okay. So let's see what is written here. The role of fire and scientific progress. When people realized that water produces steam on boiling, they understood the potential of steam. The first steam engine was invented by James Watt. Steam was also used in hot air balloons and steam boats. 
fuels like coal and petroleum were burned to produce um heat and energy they were major landmarks in the history of mankind and they paved way for the discovery of electricity okay so what is the first thing here that they uh, are experiencing our experiment in boiling of water after the boiling they found the steam and then from that steam they made the steam engine right yeah. so the main thing was water that boils and makes steam now fire can be destructive so as we know we read all the good things about fire that the invention of fire make our life so easy but it is also destructive too, right fire can burn anything and in a dangerous yes, way right labbi can you answer uh, how fire can destruct anything uh, if the fire sam fire cannot buy and प्रॉपर्टी There have been many great fires that resulted from minor incidents. So, from a little thing, from a minor thing, a big fire can exhaust it, right? Can yeah. you give an example, Mahia or Raisa? Yeah. Okay. No, no. From present situation. No. Okay. Fine. Ah, uh, do you ah uh, watch television or news every day? No, I can watch uh, sometimes. Every day, but sometimes. Okay. In this coronavirus situation, there was a fire in a hospital, and nine corona patient died. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Oh? Yeah, I, I, I know that. I listen. A present example of fire that exhausted, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I am asking about the present example because I know you will uh, forget the past one. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So let's see what are the example you give now. The Great Chicago Fire is probably the most destructive fire that occurred in the past hundred years. Of the fire broke out on the evening of October eight, eighteen seventy-one, long time ago. It took three hundred years to destroy more than seventeen thousand structures in twenty-seven hours. Can you imagine? The fire was uh, exhausted for twenty-seven hours, more than one day. But ma'am, how it? Uh, how it? What? Can I say in Bengali? Yeah. It's a key that was shown to us. Okay. This is not written here how it happens, but actually, uh, nobody can know that where uh, the fire is. Sometimes it's from a minor incident, right? As the yeah. electricity uh, generator can be blast, it can be blast. Or sometimes the gas cylinder can be blast and the fire will just spread out. Fire spread out. Yeah. Very huge number, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we have the second question, second para that the Great Fire of London began in a baker's shop on September sixteenth, nineteen sixty-six. Oh, it's a long time ago, more than that, and lasted for several days, or only twenty-seven hours for several days. It destroyed more than thirteen thousand structures, but surprisingly, there were no deaths. It is so astonishing that there were no deaths. Where it says that this lasted for several days. It's interesting and it's amazing too. It's a blessing yeah. that there were no deaths. Right? Yeah. Fine. So, uh, what do we do? We we'll go for the worship now. All of you, can you see the worship? Yes. Yes. So we have done our first one, right? The discussion. Yeah. Now we are going to the true and false. Number one, fire is always blessing. It's false. Why it is false? false. Because fire is not always blessing because. 
because uh, example is that you can go there uh, in one time there with lots of fire. So it's But, not a waste. Right? Okay. Number two, steam was used in steam boats. It's true. True. And what is the another answer? Are and where to use? Hot air balloon. In hot air balloon. Hot air exactly. balloon. Exactly. Very good. Number three. In Iron Age, there were widespread use of mud. It's false. What is the right okay. answer? It's false. It was iron. Iron. Very good. Now number four. Many religious communities use fire to cremate the dead. True, true or false? True. 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 Very good. Now we are going to our next page. Okay, fine. Number five. In Bronze Age, plastic and rubber were melted. It falls. True. False. False. Iron. 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 Iron and um, copper and steel. Oh copper yes, and steel. copper and steel. Copper and steel. Okay, the Great Chicago Fire occurred in 1971. It's false. What is the right? False. Answer? False. This is the 1871. Very good, right, sir. Now number seven. The Great Fire of London destroyed more than 13,000 structures. It's true. False. It's true. True. Okay, number eight. Human beings discovered fire by chance. It's true, right? Yes. True. What is the story here? Alok will say. What is the story? Hello, ma'am. Yes. What is the story behind the discovery of fire by chance? Ma'am. Yes. The fire is how we did this away in the fight history. Okay. But One in... day. Mm -hmm. One day, some people are rubbing two strong like this. Then the fire became to a full of leaves. Then the fire came. Yes, very good. Okay, number nine. Five hundred people died during the Chicago Fire in eighteen seventy one. Is false. What is the right It's answer? More than three uh, hundred or five hundred people. It's three hundred yeah. people. Okay, number ten. The first steam engine was invented by James Watt. True. True. Very good. Now we are going to discuss about this question and answer, right? Yeah. What is our question here? Why was fire thought to be holy? As we Uh, started with our this question today that fire and ceremony. Let's see what fit in here. The answer is here. Our, our ancestors might have accidentally discovered by fire by rubbing two stones against each other. It must have seemed a magic to them, and they thought it as a gift from the gods and started looking upon fire as holy. So, what is the main thing here? As Alok has described, that they rubbing two stone each other and the fire started. So it was a magic for them because they do, didn't see fire before that. Yeah. So when they see, they don't know. When they saw the different things, the fire has opened. They think it was a gift from the god, and so they looking up for fire as holy. Okay. So do you have any problem in this question, Labib? No, oh, ma'am. Raisa, no? Mahia, no ma'am. Alo, no ma'am. Are you sure? Yes ma'am. Okay, very good. So, if you don't have any problem today, today we have discussed two, three page. Can you please go for it for one? But ma'am, I have one problem in the chapter. Okay, tell me what happened. It is a. Uh... There are uh, now also there are followers of uh, Zoroastrianism. What was the religion? What? Zoroastrianism. Okay, Zoroastrianism. What happened? Yeah. Are there are uh, there are followers of this religion now also? Maybe because we sometimes we heard about the Persian, right? Yeah, but about the Persian, and here it is reason that they also call Parsi. Parsi and Persian are similar, right? Yeah. 
so maybe they are all for expressed. Uh, only this was the problem, nothing else. Okay, so I am giving you one minute to revise these three pages. Please go for it. Ma'am, no problem. Are you sure, Alok? Yes, 100%. I am sure. Not, okay. Not 100%. 2000% damn sure. Okay, that's I am 99.99% damn sure. Very good, Raisa. I am here 99.99%. Love is also 99.99%. Okay. Mahia, I am here to 99%. Okay, 99%. <laughs> okay, so just uh, yeah. What are what is the one person problem? Uh one person maybe the spelling mistake that she did. Always. Yeah. So it's okay. Okay, though so uh, can I ask a look about a uh, spelling that I will be sure that how much uh confident you are. Can I ask? Yes, Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hello. Just you just uh, spell the word Zoroastrianism. What? Zoroastrianism, as Raisa asked about. Yes. Name two minutes. <laughs> I make the sound louder. Now tell what happened. Ma'am, maybe okay, just spell, just spell the word Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism. Yeah. I spell that word. Yeah. That's the point one person that Labib doesn't know, Raisa doesn't know, Mahia doesn't know. Okay. That's why they are in 99.99% .99 because 100% is too tough yeah. to be. Okay, fine. So all the kids, you don't have any problem in this chapter or the worksheet, right? Yeah. Yes, no. No so we can uh, close our class today. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Before that, what I'll say always. Always uh, study well, be, uh, study stay well, home, stay well, safe, be well, on time, stay safe. and never forget to join your online class. Oh my don't god, forget. you know everything. Now I don't want to remember you anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can remember me. That means you will do this, this, and this. <laughs> yeah. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Bye bye, ma'am. Bye bye, ma'am. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Bye bye.